Did you know that engineers can design buildings to withstand the sheer power of an earthquake? While no structure is truly earthquake-proof, innovative engineering techniques ensure buildings remain standing, protecting lives in the process. In today's video, we'll dive into the top five ways engineers earthquake-proof buildings explained simply and effectively. And before we begin, subscribe to CADNBIM Academy for more insightful content on engineering, construction, and design. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment below. What's the most earthquake-resistant building you've ever seen? Now, let's get started. One of the biggest challenges in earthquake engineering is keeping a building structure intact while allowing it to move. That's where moment frames come in. Think of them like reinforced joints, Designed with heavy welding or bolted connections, these frames allow buildings to bend and sway without collapsing. They're great for open concept designs because they don't require walls or braces, making architects love them. But here's the catch. They can be expensive and aren't always the most rigid option. Still, for modern skyscrapers and office buildings, moment frames play a crucial role in keeping structures both flexible and strong during seismic events. Next, we have bracing systems, the bread and butter of earthquake-resistant steel structures. Braces do exactly what their name suggests. They brace the building, preventing excessive movement during an earthquake. Engineers often design them as the fuse of the building, meaning they absorb the earthquake's energy so that more critical components, like columns and beams, stay intact. Want proof? Imagine bending a paperclip back and forth. It takes a lot before it actually breaks. That's exactly how bracing systems work. They absorb force and deform before failing, keeping the rest of the building safe. The downside? Braces can obstruct architectural designs since they take up space. But when it comes to safety, they're one of the most economical and effective solutions. If you've ever seen massive concrete walls in high-rise buildings, chances are you've seen a sheer wall system in action. These walls are designed to resist lateral forces, preventing the building from shearing off its foundation during a quake. They're commonly used in concrete and wood structures, making them a go-to for mid-rise and high-rise buildings. Shear walls are among the strongest and stiffest solutions for earthquake resistance. But there's a drawback. They limit design flexibility. Unlike moment frames, which allow open spaces, shear walls create fixed partitions, which means fewer windows, fewer openings, and sometimes more design challenges. Still, if strength and stability are the priority, shear walls are unbeatable. Ever seen a skyscraper with a massive water tank at the top? That's no accident. It's a seismic damper in action. Dampers are designed to reduce vibrations caused by earthquakes. There are many types, but one of the most fascinating is the liquid-filled damper. When an earthquake strikes, the liquid inside sloshes in the opposite direction of the building's movement, effectively counteracting the shaking. Think of it like holding a glass of water while walking. The water moves in response to your motion, helping stabilize the glass. Engineers apply this same principle to skyscrapers, using dampers to absorb energy and reduce swaying. This technology is particularly useful in tall buildings, bridges, and towers, ensuring occupants experience less shaking during an earthquake. And finally, at number one, we have seismic base isolation, perhaps the closest thing to truly earthquake-proofing a building. This ingenious technique involves placing bearings, rollers, or rubber pads beneath the building, effectively lifting it off the ground. Instead of the entire structure shaking violently during an earthquake, the isolators absorb and dissipate the energy, allowing the building to move independently from the ground motion. Imagine standing on a skateboard. If someone pushes the ground beneath you, you don't fall over. You simply roll with it. That's exactly how base isolation works. While this technology is highly effective, it's mostly used in high-profile projects like hospitals, historical landmarks, and critical infrastructure. The cost is high, but when safety is the priority, base isolation is a game-changer. And there you have it. Five incredible ways engineers design earthquake-resistant buildings. From moment frames and braces to dampers and base isolators, these techniques save lives and protect infrastructure in seismic zones worldwide. Which method impressed you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about structural engineering and design, make sure to subscribe to CADNBIM Academy 
your go-to channel for all things engineering, construction, and BIM technology. Hit that like button, share this video with a fellow engineer, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious, stay creative, and keep engineering for a better world.